Welcome back to Gun and Shot TV. Um, today we're going to talk a little bit about some concealed carry holsters for a Glock 19. Now, unfortunately, I live in Illinois, so we don't have a lot of concealed carry holders yet. We just got concealed carry uh, this last year, so um, essentially we're all newbies in Illinois. Uh, a lot of states, you know, you've had concealed carry for quite a while. Um, but I'm kind of going through, um, I originally got my Glock 19 about five years ago when they were talking about getting concealed carry in Illinois. Um, but it never really came to fruition. I think the bill kind of just got bounced around. It took the actual lawsuit to get us to get some uh, concealed carry. Um, so what I did get back then is I got a Remora holster for Glock 19. And I went with the one with the Kydex reinforced top here. So the theory was, if you have it in your belt, the Kydex will keep it from crushing. Well, unfortunately, over time, the Kydex got a little bit cracked. I never really used it for concealed carry, per se, other than, you know, when I was wandering around my own property, uh, just to get an idea for it before I found out concealed carry got um, canceled on us. So I had this for quite a while, but like I said, wasn't really actually used it for, able to use it for its intended purpose. Um, and when I shot competition or anything like that, I just use a crappy Phobos holster. So um, now, concealed carry is a thing in Illinois. And uh, this Remora is nice. It's comfortable. It works okay. But like I said, the reinforced top is kind of given out. And if I was carrying all day, I didn't want to have to adjust it. Um, and I kind of like the point that with with a lot of hybrid holsters, when you set the clips, you set them, and they're like that forever. You don't have to mess with the cant, because I found that when I used this holster, the cant was always a little different, so it was hard to kind of get exactly where it was comfortable and where everything fit right. So not a bad thing necessarily. Definitely like this thing, I could run on a treadmill with sweatpants on, and this, especially when it was new and it was super tacky, it would not move, and it, it did work well for that. But it's not super secure. Like, I wouldn't want to ride my motorcycle with it. Um, that would probably not work well. The Harley's kind of shake enough that even though this is super secure, I've never had an issue. Like, certain activities I'd be a little bit worried about. So, what I did get, now that we have concealed carry, is I went with the CompTAC MTAC. And I'm going to film a couple videos with it in. Um, make sure this is clear clear empty there's no mag so this is actually their slide model um, I got it used on eBay um, it turns out it wasn't actually used it was brand new some guy said he got it in trade with a Glock 26 or something and the over previous owner never used it but threw it in and I think I paid about 50 bucks for it I did not get Smarties um, which was a big downer but I saved 50 bucks and I got a really nice handwritten note from the guy on eBay for some reason saying how he hoped I enjoyed the holster, so I thought that was cool. But um, this is actually what they call their slide model. And when I was looking at these, I couldn't figure out what the hell what the hell that meant. Um, what they mean is there's no bottom to it. So you can use any of the 9mm, 40, or 357 SIG Glocks. They'll all fit this. Um, just some will stick out more. Now with the Glock 19, the slide model, it sticks out a little bit. But I didn't really have a problem. Some people were worried that that's going to push up or something like that. I haven't had a problem. It's pretty comfortable. It is a super heavy leather, though, and it's brand new. It was never used when I got it. So I've left the gun in there. At one point, I put a sock in there um, around the gun to kind of stretch it out because the retention was super, super tight. But as the holster gets more and more wear, it gets it gets more and more comfortable and easier to draw and, and reholster and stuff like that. I think the only kind of downer I have is I don't know if that sight right there um, uh, is there on a non-slide holster I think that might might not be there because obviously there's no reason for that kick out when a Glock 19 sights are way up here so you know not a big deal once you buy the actual MTAC Minotaur backing the leather you can get different shells too so I could get you know the Glock 19 specific shell if I wanted to but like I said, for used holster for 50 bucks, I definitely can't complain. I think they're about 100 bucks new. Um, but I've been very happy with it. The remora is nice too, but I like the fact that you can set these and they don't go anywhere. 
I looked at Alien, I think Alien Gear or something like that. I looked at a couple different ones. Um, the cool thing about the Minotaur was all the fittings on the back are covered in an extra layer of leather. So there's nothing that can catch your clothes or, or rub on your skin or anything like that. I was like, you know, to save 50 bucks or something, it's probably worth it to go with the with the one with the extra backing, you know, because I'd hate to buy a whole shirt and it's annoying and I got to replace it. Also, it has this interchangeable shell feature, so you can you can go with different uh, different shells. So that's why I went with the Comtech Minotaur. I know there's crossbreed. There's a whole bunch of holsters out there now, and they're all, you know, hybrid holsters like this where it's half Tydex and half leather. But that's just my feelings on it. I mean, obviously, everybody's got a different holster, a different spot they like to wear. I mean, I like to go probably about 3.30, so kind of on my right side, but a little bit back, but not not 4 o'clock, not, not on my butt cheek, kind of in the side. I'm kind of a more rotund guy, so I got a little bit of a bulge in the front, so it's easier for me to put it on my side there. But, uh, you know, it's, it's one of those decisions. It's uh, Everybody's got their own personal preference and personal comfort with their body shape, so definitely... It, it kind of sucks, too, because when I was looking, um, there wasn't a lot of shops that had a wide selection. Most shops have one type of holster or the other, and they don't really let you try them on. It seems like it would be such a such a great deal, you know, just to have holster store, and that it was just a gun and holster shop and just had a bunch of different holsters. But the, the big thing is, I don't think there's that much margin in holsters, and obviously... You got a lot of stock tied up in a left-hand holster for some weird gun. It may never sell. So unless the manufacturers want to just let the shit sit there on their bill, um, it, it's probably never going to actually be reasonable. So you're stuck paying a bunch of money and hoping it works. But like I said, I, I think I did well. I think the Minotaur, it's been super comfortable, and I've really liked the fact that once you set it and, and you can adjust it however the can't you want, once you set it, it's, it's set for life. You don't have to worry about it. Um, I did go in and Loctite everything once I had it where I, I thought was most comfortable. But other than that, you really don't have to do anything. So, super happy with that. If you've got a Glock 19, um, that's what I would recommend to carry it. I know some people have issues carrying larger frames. This is this is compact. I don't really have problems in about 5'10", like 240, something like that. So, definitely not a small guy. and definitely have a little extra space to hide some stuff. But, um... I don't know, especially with this holster, it really, after a little bit, it kind of goes away. The only problem I have is, like, sitting down, you get a little bit of jab, depending on where it's at. And that's another reason I kind of went with that 330 kind of right on my side, but a little bit back. And that's where I found it most comfortable. But uh, if you if you got a Glock 19 and you've got a different holster that you think is better, feel free to comment. Because, you know, like I said, here in Illinois, we have no information about any of this. So I know... Almost every other state has had it for so much longer than, like, Wisconsin was a recent one, too. Um, but it's it's one of those things where, you know, nobody nobody I know at the gun store, nobody I know at the shooting range really has a lot of opinions yet. So it's definitely one of those things that I'd love to know more, and I'm sure some of you guys have some great opinions. So for Gun and Shot TV, this is Chris saying, have a rootin' tootin', drunken shootin', unless you're concealed carrying, in which case you should not be drinking. Day. <laughs>